um, in the, at the end of the Bush administration and the beginning of the Obama administration, more towards the end of the Bush administration, I had a lot of conversations with um, military theorists, people who were involved in writing the counterinsurgency field manual. And that was what, like, the surge strategy, right, was supposedly at least the story that we told ourselves about it was that it was all about working with counterinsurgency, so you're not just killing bad guys, you're actually trying to get the population who are non-combatants to believe in their government and to side with what you're doing and to feel constructive about it. So you're trying to sort of nation build in a way with counterinsurgency. And it's a very, if you, they, there's a reason they sold the counterinsurgency field manual as a trade paperback book for a general audience. It's fascinating reading, and it's often written beautifully by these very intellectual, very intelligent, deep thinkers about the military who are thinking about how to build broken societies up in a way that will be safe for the people who live in them. And it's big ideas written about very well. And it's seductive, particularly if you're a liberal and you believe that government can do things to make people's lives better and you're ambitious about what government can do. But in talking to all these brilliant colonels, essentially, who worked on counterinsurgency theory and their there to sit, sing the virtues of it, it turned me against it. Uh, so it's the opposite, I guess, against our realizing that actually, you know what, this this is about war forever. That if war can if if war and war fighters are seen as capable of doing anything, then we will expect that they will do everything. And if you are doing everything, you are doing it forever. And yeah, that can't be. And however seductive it is to think that you're that capable. You can and you can make the women you can make the women of a country educated and the children vaccinated and the government uncorrupt and the and, and an alliance with the United States and you can undermine the uh, theocrats and support the secularists all by 19 year olds with rifles and you're going to have 19 year olds with rifles in every country in the world for as long as we can support them and that's wrong. Uh, someone actually asked whether you ever looked at the curriculum at the military academies. Oh, you know, one of the things that ended up being a nice and sort of jarring surprise for me is that Drift is on the uh, Army War College syllabus um, right now. We close my mind. Um, I mean, this is a book of, by a civilian before a civilian audience, so the fact that the military wants to engage with themselves, I was very flattered by that. But I, you know, I have talked to, I've been asked to come to West Point and a couple of other um, academies to, to talk about this, and I'm intimidated by the prospect of maybe I got something wrong. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know about it in a systemic way. I haven't, didn't study it as part of the book, but I would love to engage with them more. Great. Um, what are the three principles that news programs should 